What's going on everybody? I'm back from a nice little break and I'm ready to do a new video. I noticed that the Stack Overflow developer survey results are out. So I figured why not do a video on that since I did one last year. In this video, I'm gonna go over the highest paid programming languages and technologies. I'm gonna go over the most popular programming languages, databases, and tools that people are using. And we're also gonna check out salaries to see what developers are making according to the survey. It's pretty interesting to see that almost 15,000 more people took the survey this year than they did last year. Last year, about 65,000 developers took the survey. This year, 80,000 developers took the survey. Let's not waste any time and let's get right into the top paying technologies. I always like checking the pay first because it's interesting to see what programming languages pay the most. So these numbers that you're seeing here aren't averages. They're the median salaries that people are making with these programming languages. And you can see the top one, 95K median salary for closure. That's pretty crazy. Then you got F sharp with 81K, Elixir at 80,000, Erlang at 80,000. See, these are kind of obscure languages, so they, probably pay more because not that many people know them. You can see there's Ruby, there's Rust, there's Go, there's Lisp. As you start going down the list, you'll start seeing more of the popular programming languages. They have scripting and markup languages as well. So it's kind of all languages. Uh, TypeScript's down here with 59K. Python, 59K as well. You have C Sharp, 58K. Swift, 58K. Uh, SQL 56k, Kotlin 55k, JavaScript 54k, and then HTML and CSS 52k, and then Java down here. So according to this, people who write HTML and CSS make more than people who write Java. Moving on to the top paying databases, we have DynamoDB at 80,000 median salary. I would say that's 81. Elasticsearch, Cassandra. You got Postgres here at 59. And you have MySQL down here at 43. You know, all these different type of SQL databases here as well. Microsoft SQL Server, that's what I use at my job. Let's take a look at the top paying web frameworks. So we got Ruby on Rails coming in hot with uh, 77K there. You got .NET Core at 60K, Gatsby at 60K, and then you got React, which is kind of funny because Gatsby is built on React, but React's median salary is 58K and uh, Gatsby came in at 60. Then you got .NET, then you have, what else here, Spring. Vue came in at 50 and Angular, JS and Angular came in right around 49 and 48 pretty similar there. And then you got jQuery down here. Also Django and Laravel. Laravel came in way low. I didn't know that Laravel developers didn't do that well. That's uh, that's actually surprisingly low compared to, to all these other ones. Now that we have the top paying programming languages, let's move on to the most popular programming languages. Survey lets you choose between all respondents and then people who marked off that they were professional developers. I like to look at them both and see how they did in comparison to one another. So let's see here. Let's just look at the professional developers first. So the most popular programming languages among professional developers, JavaScript came in at 68%, HTML and CSS 55%, SQL at 50 and then Python 41 and TypeScript 36%. That just goes to show you how popular web development is right now. And Python has been gaining more and more popularity over the years and it's really interesting to see it so high up on the list. If you actually look at all the respondents, you'll see that Python actually came in third. Compared to last year, SQL came in at 54% for most popular programming language and Python it had 44%. But this year Python was at 48% and just barely beat out SQL that was, came in at 47. You know, they do include scripting and markup languages here. So if you wanted to get technical and you really wanted to say, well, what are the top programming languages? It would be JavaScript, Python, Java, Node.js, which is still JavaScript, and then TypeScript, which is still JavaScript, <laughs> and uh, then you have C Sharp, and then C++ down here, and PHP. So since they do include scripting languages, you do have like Bash, and you have uh, HTML and CSS in here, and then you also have uh, SQL, which is technically a query language. But as far as being a professional developer goes, it seems like JavaScript's really popular. JavaScript, TypeScript, and Node.js are at the top of this list. So JavaScript is king right now. So that was the most popular programming languages. Let's see where the databases fall this year. Let's look at professional developers real quick. MySQL came in 
at the top with 48%. You have Postgres that came in second with 44%. You have SQLite at 30%. You have Microsoft SQL Server at 29% and then MongoDB. The top four are all SQL. So it just goes to show you that SQL is where it's at when it comes to learning databases. And when I was learning how to code, I started with MongoDB and I was doing like no SQL stuff because it was just easier to learn. And with MongoDB, you're using JSON. JSON is just a lot easier to work with. And having to learn SQL felt like it was just too much for me when I was first learning. But here you can clearly see that professional developers are working in SQL. Let's see the numbers for all respondents. So you still have my MySQL at the top, you got Postgres coming in second, SQLite, and then you got MongoDB in fourth. You can see MongoDB is a little bit higher on the list here and really not by much. Let's see what else we have here. Cloud platforms, obviously Amazon is killing it with AWS. 54% of all respondents are using AWS and you got Google Cloud Platform and then Microsoft Azure. And for professional developers, again, AWS is at the top. Microsoft Azure is second with 32%. That's what I use at my job. Then you have Google. Then you have Heroku and then you have DigitalOcean there. Here's what a lot of my viewers are probably interested in. What's the most popular web frameworks? Let's see what professional developers are working with here. We have React here at the top of 41%. It's definitely the most popular web framework out there. Then jQuery comes in second. So then you have Angular here with 26%. You have Express. 23%, they do include Spring here. So these aren't just front end frameworks. They have Django, they have Laravel, they have Ruby on Rails, they have .NET Core. They are covering all web frameworks, but as you can see, still the most popular frameworks are React, Angular, and Vue here at the top of the list. Popular tools that everyone's using, Git, Docker, Yarn, Kubernetes, and Unity 3D are some of the top popular tools among developers right now. And then you have your IDEs, your integrated development environment. Visual Studio Code is just killing it. I use it for work on a daily basis. I really enjoy it. Microsoft is doing a killer job with VS Code. And I recommend that anyone that's learning how to code and doesn't know what text editor to use, just use VS Code. It's free and it is just awesome. All right, let's check out some of the salaries now. Again, these salaries are median yearly salaries. These are not averages. So here at the top engineering managers, the median salary for that is 95,000 a year. We have senior executives, C-suite VP at a median of 94 a year. Then we have uh, engineers, site reliability at 84, DevOps 70. Data engineer at 68, scientist at 64. Moving down the list a little bit, you see they have project managers and then here you have your desktop developers, backend developers. They're all kind of really in, in the same range here. You have systems administrator, database administrator. If your title has developer in it, it seems like it's gonna fall anywhere between 58 to 49K median yearly salary based off of what it says here on the survey. That's all respondents. We can look at the US and you can see that the numbers are a lot larger when you're talking about the median salary in the US versus all across the globe. Now, when you're looking at the developer titles here, you see that it's 120 to about 100 median based off of a you know, various types of developer roles, full stack mobile developers, game developers, you know, front end developers, designers, they kind of all fall in that range of 120 to uh, like 100, 110. So yeah, we're spoiled living in the US. I remember saying that in last year's video when I compared the numbers and I was just like, wow. Before I wrap this up, I wanna just take a quick look at the overview because I saw here that they showed how people are learning how to code. And I thought that was pretty interesting because you can see that a lot of people are using online resources, videos, blogs, and whatnot to learn how to code now. It's here at the top and it's crazy because people are using 
online platforms to learn more than school and books and other forms of learning. And I just thought that was really, really interesting. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I always enjoy taking the survey. I always enjoy looking at the results. And really, I just think it's fun to go through all that data. All right, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you next time.